yo what's going on youtube it's your boy q i'm back here again with another video for you guys before we even get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there because like half you aren't even subscribed yet so let's change that real quick and as always follow me on instagram i got all my links in the description below and most of you should already know this but for you new guys here I'll have all my links to my kits down in the description. I got kits on Drumify and I got kits on my own beat stars. So if you're looking for any new sounds or you like anything you hear in this video, go check the link in the description because I always got new stuff available. But anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be going back to something you guys really like when I do, and that's gonna be how to make guitar melodies from scratch without a real guitar. We're gonna be using only VSTs in this. So I don't wanna talk too much because you guys already get the idea of what the video is gonna be. So let's jump into FL and break this down. All right, so I got FL pulled up right here. I got the BPM set to 164. And I have this contact bank open. It's pretty much one of my favorites. I've done this before in different videos, but it is called the Electric Sunburst Deluxe by Session Guitarist. And it's a contact bank. In my opinion, it's my favorite for making like melodic guitar melodies. So I got this pulled up. I got the default preset pulled up. It's just called this clean R&B. It sounds like this. And what we're gonna do here is just click in a melody. So I'm gonna go to the piano roll and I'm gonna pull up a scale. We're gonna go with D minor, just some random scale off the top of my head. I'm just using this scale highlighting tab right here. And I go to D natural minor. So it's actually super easy for you to make these guitar melodies sound really good. You could honestly use one shots, but I just prefer this contact bank a little bit more. Basically, all I'm gonna be doing is making extended triad chords, which is super simple. And once you have the scale highlighting pulled up, all you do is go to your root note which is D in our case. And what we're gonna do here is you go up, skip one note in scale and go to this next one. So it'll be D, F, and then we're gonna skip another note and go to the next one. So this is your basic triad. And all you're doing is skipping one note in the scale and going to that next note and you can make a triad. And you can do this with any scale, as long as it's a minor scale and any note. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just open this melody up a little bit and I'm gonna bring this middle note up an octave. So now it's an extended triad. And next thing I'm gonna do is actually strum the notes. So I'm gonna have the first note hit on the first beat. I'm gonna pull this one back right here and this one like this. And now we have a strummed triad that sounds like this. And I actually feel like adding one note up on top. So I'm gonna skip another note in the scale and make it a fifth or a fourth. Forget, I don't even know a lot about music theory, but like I said, it's pretty simple once you follow these super basic steps. Turn the metronome on just to see where I want to put this next chord. I'm gonna drag it out to here, I believe. Yeah, and then we're gonna do the same exact thing, except I'm gonna go down to this A sharp right here. And like I said, we're doing the same exact thing, skipping one note, going to the next one. Delete that. Skip one note, go to the next one. Boom. And I'm gonna bring this up, and then we're gonna strum it just like we did it with that first chord. See how this sounds. And of course, we're going to add that fourth note right up on top, which will be this F because I'm skipping the E in between. So I'm going to just drag this over and I think I'm going to go down one semitone to this A and we're just going to redo the same exact steps we did before. Skip one, skip another, bring it up an octave and strum them. I'm adding that fourth note up on top. I actually want this. I'm actually not going to use that A1. I'm going to go up to the C right here. See how that sounds. I'm just extending these out to match the same as the first chord. And we're going to drag this out. And I believe it should go down to G. Let's see how this sounds. Turn that metronome off. So the next thing you need to do just to make this sound a little bit more realistic is mess with the velocity variation. So for example, I might try and go to all the bass notes, kind of randomize them a little bit, but have them a little bit lower. And then these top notes, maybe have these ones hit loudest, but still a little bit more random because you don't want any of these velocities to be the same. And for the rest of the notes, we're kind of just gonna uh, highlight them and hit Alt R on my keyboard to randomize them. And then I'm just gonna scroll down, or hit accept first and then scroll down. This'll keep them randomized, but it'll just make them a little quieter. So 
So now we're gonna wrap this to the mix track and we're gonna process it a little bit, which I think is the key, especially when you're using like super simple guitar melodies. So we're not gonna add much more to this. We just kind of want to fill it out. The first thing I'm gonna actually add is this uh, plugin by Waves, which is called Cassette, and it's pretty much basically just RC Retro Color. And there's a bunch of free alternatives to this, but I'm, I just prefer Cassette. And then I'm gonna find a delay. I'm gonna be using this one called Delay Eternity, usually one of my favorite delay plugins. And I'm gonna go to this Ping Pong Lo-Fi, and then just bring the dry wet knob down a lot. I'm gonna bring this like dry wet knob right here in the mixer down a little bit on that cassette. Cool, so that's basically it for the chords and like the base of the melody. So all I would do here next is go to clone. Just so we can make a different like counter melody right up on top. Maybe change this preset up a little bit. Yeah, so I got this preset right here called Electro Darkness and it sounds like this. And let's just see if we can make a little counter melody up on top. Let's quantize this. And I'm also going to mess with the velocity just to try and make it sound a little more realistic. Next thing we're going to open up here is this contact bank that I have, which is just a bass guitar. It is the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. A lot of you probably have one shots that are actually based off this exact preset. So if you go out there and just look a little bit, you'll be able to find one shots. Get out the bass a little bit, just bring some of that high end out. And then what I'm gonna do here is just to add a little bit more variation, and we're pretty much done after this, but I'm gonna find a pluck. Pretty much just a one shot. I like the way this one sounds, and I'm going to just copy the original chord progression onto it. This will just add like a little bit more melody into the background. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Alright guys, but that is it for the video. I tried something a little different here, so I'm not going to make the beat right now, but I will play it for you guys after. So comment and let me know if you want to see how that was made. I'll break that down in a different video if you guys want me to do that. But anyways, if you learned anything from this video or if you enjoyed it at all, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Make sure you subscribe. If you liked any of the sounds in this video, you already know where to go. Link in the description. I got all my kits on Drumify or either my website. That is all I got for now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.